Just a little bit. Nope, the axle. There you go. A little more. All right. Tell me one. Okay, go. It's not lined up. There you go. Got the splines greased up? Yep. Okay. All ready. Just. See, not only do we build your bike, we make you work for it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I can say I built it. So. That's right. See? You're not lying. <laughs> look, look You're not lying. You're not lying. I saw some video footage of the, the Moto Guzzi V8 uh, going around um, the original uh, TT one or, or, the, or the one they were reproducing? No, no, the original one. The, the, a guy rode it around the Isle of Man. T I was just working in the Isle of Man. So you had like, uh, like a vintage race there or something? Yeah, I mean, I think this was a few years back, maybe in the 80s or the 90s. Oh, okay. But it was the old, unbelievable Alum piece the of aluminum machinery. Uh, cowling on it? All yeah, that? Great, big, great big cowling on it, wow. yeah. And they had, two, they had two, only two running that were left in the world or whatever. One, I think, was owned by Walter Guzzi, and one was owned by this private guy. Right. I mean, I don't know if it was a private guy, but he was, it was his bike. And so they had the guy that used to race it, and now in the 60s, riding it around the course. Right. They did a kind of honorary lap of honor, you know. And, uh, and the guy on his private bike behind him was just following, trying to keep up. Wow. And they had this shot of the guy, the racer, going around this, there's a beautiful set of bends. He goes around the bends, and then just behind him, as the camera pans off, you see the guy go straight into the wall. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, right. I mean, literally being oh, catapulted geez. in the air. Oh, like that. Oh, God. Fucking hell. <laughs> and they're worth, you know, they're, pr they're priceless. There's only about two or three of them that exactly. run in the world. Beautiful Jeez. pieces of equipment. All right. Right. What's All right, let's go. Uh, we'll put Why you... Why don't we have you, like, over here? Give me the light bit, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do one of the back ones. We don't want you to... We don't here, want I'll, I'll this one. Right here on the no, no, no. Oh, oh, you want me here? Yeah, we'll each grab one. Okay. And crack fire. And what we'll do is we'll just lift it straight up and go yeah. a couple of feet towards Mo and let's get, it, let's get it towards the corner first. Let's just slide it a little bit this way. Hold on, wait till we're. I want to make sure a little, few more inches. Okay. Leave it right there. Okay. okay. Now we're on the very corner. Okay. I'm gonna watch this. Uh, okay. So on. I'm You ready? Okay. On three, we'll uh, we're gonna lift up and we're gonna we're gonna come this way about two feet and then just let it down easy. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Easy. Easy now. Beautiful. Does it understand? Yeah. It's understand. Oh, I know. It's rolling back. Right there, right there. We're okay. Right there. Right there. Awesome. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, hop on. <laughs> oh, I, don't do anything with the seat. Nice, like that. Beautiful. I didn't get that. Could you guys do that again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Awesome. So this has the full back bars. Um, the, the Springer seat bikes came with full backs. The uh, later bikes with solid mounts came with half backs. They, they, they push up a little bit farther. But yeah. with the Springer, you want them kind of back farther so it's a little more comfortable. Yeah. I mean, they're made for, you know, basically they're made for, you know, big fat, big fat Americans. So, you know. I can do some more than that. <laughs> 
donuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, the cops, they, they're kind of like a, they're, they try to make them comfortable like a big giant lazy boy. Right, right. So with the Springer seat goes on it and all that, so. Yeah, she's coming along good. Oh, it looks fantastic. It's beautiful. It looks fantastic. fantastic. The wheels are beautiful. I love the size of this disc, the brake at the front. Yeah, just a big old hunk yeah. of aluminum, you know, all that aluminum polished out and... Little gold ends, and that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's all brass. It's just how they came originally. They're right, stainless right. steel spokes with uh, uh, solid brass ends. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, and he, you know, even from the factory, these were just kind of a rough cast. They never really polished these up, so we just kind of, some of the stuff we just do just to kind of, you know, give a little more life to it. Yeah. And even, even when these were new, these weren't this high polished. They are kind of a duller uh, polish to them. Uh -huh. They weren't this, you know, we really try to get a shine on it. And it just looks, I always like it. Some guys will try to chrome the rims and it just doesn't look right. You yeah. know, because the polished aluminum looks, it looks, it's softer. It just looks, you know, it's just, it's just really nice. I don't know. It just how it has, a, it's nice on the eye. But, you, uh, got, you got your wheels balanced over there with the solder. Old school style. Yeah, it's all old the school. The guy that does the balancing has been doing it for years. Oh, yeah? And instead of stick on weights, so you instead of the stick on weights, we, oh, I see, I see. we use just lead solder. Oh, okay. And so he, he, that way he can adjust it perfectly, and, and also it's basically old school. It's right, right, right. In the 50s and, 50s and 60s. And right, I see, just a little bit of that. Right. Because otherwise we'd have to use a stick on, and they look like crap. You don't want a big stick yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, so this looks good. fantastic. So now we just gotta put this on for just Yeah, yeah. Put some bolts in here, obviously. But we're gonna put, I guess we'll just put amber, same as what's on, on Dino's, we'll just put um, amber uh, spotlights in for it. And here, and these, these yeah. ones here, yeah. I gotta order some up, I'm, I'm just out right now. Yeah, and what about the bags? Did you say you had some leather, le I've leather got, ones? I've uh, got a set of leather ones I think we talked about. I can show them, I'll bring them down and show you if they're just good. They're just good used. Yeah. And I've got, um, yeah, that and a ground hill. Yeah. He has a system of finding things up there. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, Brian, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> the one, uh, I got you. The, they're no. backed by the pinball machine. I got you. Now, so that little bra bracket's for the siren. Is it the one that's, that's coming out here? Yes, that's, right the, right the, that's the siren bracket. Right, so right. we already set that up to make sure it was whether you want it or not. I just, I just, it's, it's, it's how it was originally. Well, yeah. I think you've got to have one of those, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. He had to make a job. Let's do that. All right. Oh yeah, great. So these are what? These are just good used original. I mean, they still look pretty nice. They're, they're just. They've got the old last owner stuff in them. Yeah, they're actually, uh, I almost think these are uh, Pete's old ones. I don't know. They're great, man. Yeah. Are those the ones I had done up on the... I don't know. Who's I've had them forever. Here? These came off of, uh, I forget whose bike they came off. I've had them for a while, but... They need some upholstery on that one. Oh, that, I don't know. That just... has to be yeah, this thing's broken here. So right. I'd have to get a leather, I'll have to get a leather shop to fix that. But these are what, basically what I got right now, so we can... I mean, I could, I could even re-chrome. This thing's a little, I don't know, it still looks good. I've got another one upstairs I could re-chrome, but it's, it's, it's probably been about five, six years since this thing was chrome, but I could see what I can do. We can clean, these things will clean up a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, it looks, it I mean, and they look polished, oh, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it, might even, it might even, I don't know, we'll, we, I'll check it. I'll see if it'll clean up. If okay. not, I've got another one. But these will, you know, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, you know, they're just kind of. No, they look great, because they're the real thing. Yeah, right? they're the real deal, and, and. They're not too beat up, but they're still kind of cool enough yeah, where yeah, not, they yeah. don't look brand new either. I get some little waterproof bags, exactly the right so. size, and and they just attach here. Is they attach right, here? right. These two, these two, these two hook to right here. Yeah. And then they hook into the top. What is it? The top or bottom? I forget. I think the bottom is for the exhaust. The top yeah, is top for, the, one. for the saddlebacks. Okay, so that's fairly simple. And it's actually kind of got a little bumper. It kind of helps stabilize it, but it's got a, this is actually kind of acts as a little bumper too. So yeah, it comes around here like that. But uh, and we're gonna go with uh, slash back mufflers, just like yeah, the, uh, like the original pull right. back were. Where's uh, we got some? I have them tucked away over there. On the ground. So then, and then same thing like with the frame, what we do with the frame is, is we powder coat them, we blast and powder coat them, 
And then when they come back, um, I base and clear them on top. So the problem that we had in the past, like, like let's say, you know, something we powder coated 10 years ago. The problem is that it, it starts to fade out. Like after the UV uh, rays from the sun hit it, it'll start to turn like a chocolatey brown and kind of get a little dull finish in it. Yeah. It doesn't want to buff up. It doesn't want to clean up. So I got sick of, you know, dealing with that. So the, the best way for that was just to put a base and clear right on top of it. So I'm using like a, you know, like a urethane paint base and clear right on top of the powder coat. Right, right. So it gives it a, it, it'll just give it that shiny luster. Plus it's easier to clean because it, it's, it's a lot smoother finish than the powder coat and it's, it, it Dirt and grind doesn't stick to, to it so well, same as powder coat. But I mean, not like, you know, but it just, it's just a longer, so 10 years from now, it's still going to look bitching. Yeah, it's still yeah, yeah. perfect, you know. And then out, and also with a black powder coat underneath, you know, sometimes if it gets scratched or something like that, it's not going to go to primer. Right, right. So you're not going to notice it unless it goes way down to metal. But yeah. you sit, with a powder coat finish, it's, it's super durable. It would take a lot to scratch it and get it down to bare metal again. Yeah, yeah. So this way, if it gets scratched or something hits it, it's just going to be black underneath, so it's not going to be as noticeable. So it's kind of a double, you know. But uh, a little progress. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. A, a, a little. Uh, you can make a little photo album of all the uh, right, all the shots. Oh, so beautiful. You know, it's like you know. I always look at them. It's kind of like looking at a work of art. You know, yeah. it's easy. It's easy on your eye, you know, yeah, you just yeah. kind of melt into it, you just kind of, it's, it's soft to look at, and, it, and it's just kind of, it's easy to look at, I don't know. It's something so evocative of the shape of it, and, Does it show? I don't know, movies, I've seen it. What? Because I didn't grow up seeing them on the street, you know. Right. Not the, not the American Peace Party. Let's do, uh... Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> So we figured when you when when the bike's ready, when you come pick it up, we'll take a day off and go cruise down PCH a little bit. Oh, cool! How's that sound? Yeah. The boss doesn't know. Wait, wait, wait! What, what? He doesn't know. <laughs> we've been planning this. He said for a, a paid a paid day off. Uh, is what he said. <laughs> yeah. Go cruise down a coffee shop down. Oh, south that's a great idea. Yeah. Just just, just go ride. Right. PCH or yeah, there's a. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we did. We've been. We've been. We've been plotting. <laughs> yeah. As long as my bike's done in time. Oh, no, as, long, as long as my bike's done in time. Do you want to run? Do you want to run it in for me? Yeah, I mean, we, we, the engine. Do you, yeah, do we run a bit of it, dude. If you're concerned, if you're concerned, if you want it, if you want it with zero miles on it, I could just put another speedo in it while I break it in. Because I usually put anywhere from, I like to put about at least 300 miles on it before, yeah. you know, we break it in, and and I want to make sure that's breaking in properly. I want to make sure there's no leaks. You yeah. Know, any, you know. Because you have to tighten. Do you have to tighten the stuff? We got to Yeah, yeah. We usually retort about three or four times before we get right. to the customer and. So I just want to, we, that's just something we did, you know, we just want to make sure, mainly it's to check for leaks and, you know, I mean, these, you know, even though we, we, we try our best and they're 30 something years old, you still want to, you know, you still got to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. shit still happens and sure. you just, just want to check it out, you just want to make sure it's okay. No, I'll leave the speedo in, it's, it's good okay. to know exactly what the All engine's right. done, yeah. No problem. We'll no,